Have you ever looked on the court next to you, the advanced court, and thought, how do I get there? Well, that's me all the time, especially seeing Justin play, Elisha play, my family. They're all pretty good. So today, Justin's going to show us three simple skills that he says every advanced player does. So maybe one day we can end up on that court too. Let's get into it. The first advanced skill I want to talk about is having a same shot miss. Now, what I mean by this is missing mostly in the same spot each time. Even the most advanced professional players, they miss shots. But the key difference is they're not missing it in a spot where it guarantees them losing the point. So what I mean by this again is if you're hitting a drop, they're not missing those drops in the net or hardly ever doing that because their miss is deep. So if they don't hit that perfect drop, it's a little bit too far. Your opponent has an easier shot, but you're still in the point. Same thing, if you're hitting drives, you're not aiming for the sidelines too much because if you miss that wide, point's over. Or if you're hitting a serve, don't miss it in the net or short in the kitchen, but have your miss be deep. Again, the pros miss shots, nobody's perfect, but have that same shot miss each time. This next simple skill that high level players do all the time is a split step. Now a split step's real simple and I'll explain it. You're maybe moving and all you do is you jump and you split. It doesn't always have to be that exaggerated, but the purpose of the split step is to get you from a moving position to a stable position so you're ready to go in whichever direction you need to go for the ball. Now, let me tell you about where and when you wanna do a split step. So where you wanna do a split step, typically when you're moving from the baseline to the kitchen line. This is anytime you're in this transition zone is when you have a lot of court space to cover and that's when we wanna do the split step. By doing this, we're able to move again right, left, forward, back. Now, the spot we don't always have to do a split step is if we're at the kitchen line and we're dinking. There's some pros that do. Maybe see James Ignata, which he does it a lot, maybe excessively, but it helps him. It, it gets him in the ready position. Now, what time do we want to do the split step? Pretty much right when your opponent is getting ready to hit the ball or, or a split second before. So you see them go up to hit that pickleball, that's when you want to split step because that ball is going to be to you in just a second and then you're ready to move whichever way you need to. All right, the third simple skill, but not always easy, that all high level players do is they hit good deep returns. Now there's several reasons why we want to get our return deep, even though it's not always easy. We want our returns deep, number one, it keeps our opponents from having an easy drop. Number two, keeps them from hitting a hard drive. And then number three, when we hit it deeper and even a little bit higher over the net, that gives us time after we hit our return to get up to that kitchen line. We don't want to get stuck in this middle area here as they're ready to rip a third shot at us or even hit a drop. We want to get our return nice and deep, which gives us time to get up to that kitchen line so we can put that next ball away. All right, so those are some pretty simple advanced skills that high level players do. So do you think you're ready for that advanced top court now? Maybe with a little bit more practice. A little practice, yeah. Be sure to take these tips, practice them, and you'll be leveling up quick. Before you guys go, be sure to check out our newsletter that we recently launched. I won't tell you all about it. You have to go and check it out to see for yourself. We've got the link for the newsletter in the description below.